This is a video for how to go about creating number 19 for your 20 ISOs project in Fusion 360. The first thing we're going to do is create a large rectangular prism and then we're going to cut out this angled shape and then we'll place a hole in this object. So the first thing we want to do is we're going to find the full width of the object. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 wide by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 tall. So let's go ahead and click on our sketch and we're going to go 9 wide by 7 tall, 2 point rectangle. 9 wide by 7, tab 9, enter. And I'm going to go to finish sketch. Click on my house for a good isometric view. Come back to our object. The depth is 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Extrude, distance, negative 4. And say OK. I click on my house button to get a good view. Now we want to draw this diagonal line down through here. And we're just going to draw a line anywhere on the front of the object that we're going to use reference point dimensions to place that into the right spot. So I'm going to click on create sketch, click on the front of the object here, and I'm going to come up to the line command and I'm going to just go ahead and just place a line just like this. Just make sure you're not snapping to a center point or something like that. We're going to come up to dimension, click on our point, click on our edge, drag up, and we'll notice that the reference edge here is a distance of three back into the object three, enter. Next, distance here, two, is our distance in from the other side. Dimension, from the side, point, here, two, enter. We have our line now created. We, we, know, we don't really need to know the distance of this line, about any kind of an angled line, as long as we can just give an x-coordinate dimension along that line that'll tell us exactly where to go. We're going to come back up get our point get our line command and we're going to click and we're just going to go in and play connect the dots around the sides and we'll go ahead and be able to do an extrude cut afterwards we have to have a closed sketch we have to have a profile to put something inside of we're going to go to extrude click inside this object and we're going to go back a distance of two right here so when we're back here in the object we're going to put in a cut distance of negative two so it automatically goes into cut negative two say OK. And we've now given ourselves this cut right here in the object. So our next step is to place that hole into the object. And to place the hole into the object, we need to find where the reference edge center points are going to be. So up from the object is 1, 2, 3, 4 from the bottom, 1, 2, 3, 4 from the side. The diameter of the hole is going to be 4 because you can tell up from this is 2 and this is the center mark. So the reference edges are 4 and the diameter is 4 so this should be pretty easy to remember. So we're going to click on the whole command. We're going to click on this surface right here and from the bottom up is 4. From the left in is 4. The diameter is 4. Make sure up at the top where it says distance you choose all and you say OK. And this right here is number 19. Now this one can look a little different as far as dimensioning goes as far as counting but always make sure that you're counting along an X and Y axis. Within Fusion you can put in angled dimensions but we really didn't need to worry about that because we were given pretty precise X and Y coordinates. So this has been a video on how to create number 19 for your 20 ISOs project in Fusion 360.